Hi, Mom. How are you doing? Hey, let me take that. Fine, dear. How are you doing? Good. Hi, Kevin. Uh, they're, they're here, hon. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. How are you doing? Right. Okay, Dad. Hey. So, take this off. Okay, I'll, I'll grab that. Okay. All right. Thank you. Game's on, Kev. You want to come? Oh, good. This is what? Ah, uh, four nothing to get him trounced again. Oh, you should take that for you. Nice. Hi, nice. sis. How you doing? I'm good. I'm real. Good. 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 You got some place I can sit? Mm -hmm. My legs Ted, are sore. Yeah. Can we give Kevin a hand getting to the sure, car? Sure. Uh, what do you want, Kevin? Uh, nothing. Just clear a path. Hey, no problem. Hey, buddy. Come Teresa. On in. Grandma and Grandpa and Kevin are here. Grandma. Hey, oh, dear. Oh, happy birthday. Hi, Grandpa. Hi. How are you doing, Phil? Mm -hmm. Happy birthday. Look at my decorations. Well, they look oh. great. Did you put them up? Mom and I did it. Great job. Hey, why don't you go show Grandpa your cake? Come on. All right. Is everyone here? No, Uncle Phil can't come. He's uh, got a cold or something. Oh, the poor thing. Did Clara stay home too? No, she's here. <laughs> and I had to send Tammy to the store to get some candles for the cake. How is he today? He's okay. He's fine. He'll, he'll be fine. Can I help you with something? Yeah. Come and give me a hand in the kitchen. And besides, the ref's not giving them an even break. That's what they always say. Every time something doesn't go their way, it's bad riffing. That's because it is. <clears throat> what? Oh, just ignore them. Don't worry about it. Keep on the way we always do. Oh. Okay? Okay. You at least happy they're going to make the playoffs this year, Dad? Well, this season, but not next year. Why do you say that? Well, the veterans will retire and the young kids will be traded so they don't sign fat contracts. But they've got the money. Well, yes, but they haven't spent it in how long? And the new owners certainly aren't going to. What are you talking about? Basketball. Basketball. <laughs> uh, elections are coming up. Well, that'll give us a chance to clear out some deadwood. Oh, I thought they were doing a pretty good job. All things considered. Good job! They've cut health care, they've cut education, social programs are going into the dumpster. I don't eat too much. Dinner will be in half an hour. Look, Uncle Kevin, I made this myself. It's a fruit platter. Just You okay, Uncle Kevin? Teresa. Teresa! Oh, good. The game's on. What's the score? What? How's Teresa doing? Oh, she'll be okay. She doesn't really understand. It's kind of hard to explain. Well, how old is she today? She'll actually be 12 on Wednesday. I can't believe she's almost a teenager. Are she and Kevin very close? Oh, yes, very. He's her godfather. And what about he and your son? Oh, Kevin and Brad? They're like twins born 25 years apart. <laughs> we had to move back in with my parents when Teresa was born. And of course, Kevin was between jobs, so he'd look after Brad while I was busy with Teresa. And um, then when our house was ready, he'd come and stay with us on the weekends so that uh, we could get out. And then he pretty much virtually moved in. What was that like? God, it was horrible. Really? Yes. He taught them every nasty trick he could think of. When Teresa started speaking, he taught her how to say a uh, trust fund. So whenever anybody asked her what she wanted for a birthday or for Christmas, she'd say, trust fund. <laughs> and then he taught Brad how to uh, make vanilla pudding and substitute it for my cold cream. I was a little late for meet the teacher night that night. Anything else? Yeah, we, um, we went away for a vacation one year and uh, Teresa got sick. Nothing major. But uh, Kevin didn't know what to do and he couldn't get a hold of Tammy. And he just sat with her all night just rocking her and telling her stories and singing to her till her fever broke. 